Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own character select screen. This includes a variety of different characters, which you can also add more. So this isn't limited to just three. You can add as many as you want. It's completely free, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how you could set it up. The first thing you guys need to do is go ahead and download the model linked in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you can go to Google Toolbox, My Models, and click the character selection model, and then click OK. The next thing you'll see is this folder get inserted into Workspace. There's three subfolders replicated storage, server script storage, and starter UI. You need to drag these where they're labeled and then you need to ungroup them. So for example, replicated storage, it goes into replicated storage and you right click and hit ungroup. You're gonna repeat these with the other two until it's all done. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys how to set up is the models of the characters at each of the frames. First thing you're gonna need to do is open the main UI and then the CSUI frame and then open the scrolling frame and then these are all the frames for the characters in each of these frames there is a viewport frame when you click on it there is a object called the current camera of the viewport frame you need to set this camera to the workspace camera i know that was pretty confusing but i hope you understood it so now we need to set up the actual models in the frames so let's say we're working on the noob we're going to drag the noob model into the correct viewport frame so you can see viewport frame under the noob frame we're going to drag it in there and if you set up the camera properly it should appear wherever you move your camera so if i move my camera further away it's going to get further away if i move it closer to the model then it'll be right there and you can see where the model is by just dragging it into workspace point your camera to it and then drag it into the viewport frame and you should see it right in the frame the next step is just positioning wherever you want it so i'd say like right there is good something like that once you do that we're going to copy the camera in the workspace we're going to paste it into the viewport frame and then we're going to set the viewports frame current camera to that camera and now it's still and will not move even when your camera moves All right, we're back. Once you finish setting up the viewport frame, you could just drag that model into the viewports folder in replicated storage. I'm just going to repeat this process with the other two. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I've repeated the process for the other two, and now I'm just going to drag the models from the viewport frames into the viewports folder in replicated storage. It's very important that you do this because in the handler script inside of the UI, it sets this all up for you. So you don't have to leave these in. Next up is we need to have a place for the characters to be stored before we morph into them. So every time you guys add a character to this, um, put it into the characters folder in replicate storage. You can already see there is a noob default and bacon hair character in there already. These are the characters that the script will morph the player into. It is different from the viewports. Um, they're not the same folder. So the characters have their own folder and the viewports have their own folder. And lastly, if you want to add more characters, it's very simple. Um, just duplicate the frame that you want to put a new character in. So let's say I duplicated the noob frame. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, I position it wherever I want to. So let's say I position it right. Let's say I position it down here or something. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, I can edit this label to, let's say I just have an, I'm just going to have it say guy. Then I'm going to rename the folder. I'm going to rename the frame to the correct thing. So keep the names all consistent. So you can see how noob is consistent with the other noob names. It's not lowercase or anything. Default is consistent. Bacon hair is consistent. Write it the exact same way in all three of these areas. So the frame and then the viewport folder and then the character folder. Um, if you don't, then it'll get messed up. But once you have that typed and named correctly, the handler script handles everything for you. So just make sure you set up that viewport put the model into the viewports folder, put the character into the characters folder, and then everything is set up for you. So now we can test it out. Also, last thing, sorry, just make sure that you reposition the frame to instead of 0.2, just put it to one so that it goes off the screen. And if you set up everything correct, you should have a working character select screen where you can now select your character and have it work completely fine. Um, if you guys have any bugs or problems with the model, please join my Discord server linked in the description. We have great staff that tries to help you out with anything that you guys may have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, chase your dreams, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.